Hi everybody, Wendy from On a Whim by Wendy. I'm just showing you a video of what I created, some things I created with twine, yarn, lace, ribbon, um, very simple and inexpensive items. I created these in um, front of everybody on a video yesterday and you should be able to find this on um, my latest video. What I want to show you is um, the way I've set them up. I think I'm gonna set them up just like this on a table or a shelf. And for this whole thing, you're talking about $10 or under to make all these items to display in your house, to have a beautiful display. So I'm gonna show you one more thing I did forget to show you yesterday. I'm gonna move around to the other side of my craft table here. Um, I did show, I did not show you a large bunny that I was doing. This again, this again is another one that I did with yarn, but it was a large frame. See, it's the same kind of frame as that these small bunnies have, but it was a large one from the Dollar Tree. Two large ones that I put together, see, because you want to make it fatter, okay? And this is the end result. I'm not quite done, but as you can see, I started to twine around the outside of the ears. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put on the inside of the ears, but I have so many options, I just can't decide. So I could do lace, I could do flowers. I, I mean, look how pretty, let me show you how pretty just some lilies maybe, like Easter lilies might look inside of that. I don't know if this will give you a very good idea, but if I had Easter lilies going up this, maybe three of them would make cute ears. I have these daisies. It was kind of a, uh, these daisies were, um, here we go. Come on a string. I mean, I could use those to fill in on the ears, okay? There's so many things. That was a garland from the Dollar Tree. So anyway, I wanted to show you that because I did forget to show you the big one. This is going to be a real showy piece when I'm done. I'll probably put a bow on it and see how I, I have to fill in. And then I have to twine the other ear. So I'm going to come up with a really cute idea. I could even fill it in with the moss, you know, like I did on this bunny rabbit here. I did the moss sheets. I could fill that in with moss sheets. It would probably be really cute. Actually, that might be what my answer is. I could cut out um, to size the moss sheet and just insert it right inside that bunny. I think that would be gorgeous. Okay, so on to, I'm gonna turn my camera around here and here I am. Okay, anyway, I'm back. So I'm just here to do a few quick crafts. I'm kind of a mess today because I've been so busy trying to get some things done. Now, what I want to show you, I'm going to take the, put these away for now, and I'm making more of those so that I can add. I just love these little bunnies. Aren't they just adorable? Okay, so those, and then other things for Easter that I made, and you'll see on my videos are the, whoops, excuse me, cute carrots. See that? So adorable. I'm making those. I'm making a tray full of those. I'm going to make some small ones too that I may wrap in burlap or in um, some buffalo plaid, black and white buffalo plaid. So we'll get a little creative because I want to fill that tray with carrots. I just think it would be adorable. Okay, the next thing, in a, you know, when I display that, I'll show you how I do it because I'm going to make it so pretty. This helps me quite a bit right here. I know it's backwards. I haven't just figured out how to do, how to fix that. Um, I hope the lighting is okay for you. I know I have the bright light coming in from the background because it is daytime. I usually film at night, and this is just a little different for me. So, okay, so here we go. I'm going to clear the table, okay? Get all that stuff off of here. I'm going to have to sweep later because I have just made a, mess, a complete mess. I found this at the Dollar Tree. It came like this. It's a two-piece bunny. I found it about a week or so ago. And I picked it up because anytime you find something that you can make a large item from the Dollar Tree, you're doing good because for a dollar, 
I'm going to make a very large decorative item for my home for Easter, okay? I have decided, I think I'm going to decoupage this bunny. I'm going to glue it together. And I have so many beautiful Easter napkins and fabrics that I think I'm going to just decoupage the whole bunny. And I think it will be adorable. I originally thought about using the moss and just covering it with moss. But I want to do something different because I'm using a lot of the moss already. Um, so I wanted to do something a little different. I also bought these at the Dollar Tree. They're very large eggs. And I could do the same with this. I could decoupage. Oops. Excuse me, guys. These are hard to get together. Once you do, though, you got to glue them so they'll stay. I could decoupage this to go, you know, with the bunny. Okay, and it would be very cute display. I also found a little bit smaller ones that I could decoupage, okay? And actually, you could even make a football out of this. I think I have football napkins, which I could do that. Um, anyway, um, so I'm going to try this today. I'm going to do some decoupage for, with you. I will probably not finish it today. I will probably um, just... Not on video anyway. I, I may do like a fast forward where you can see me working. Um, but I'm probably not going to just sit here and talk and do the decoupage. Because some of my videos, they're getting a little lengthy. And I know it's because I talk. And I like to talk. And some of these projects take a while to do. So anyway, I'm going to start it here with you. And then I will do it on my own. I will probably film a fast forward film for you. So you can watch my progress as I go along. The other item, I know you, uh, some of you probably saw, I made my nest. You know, I bought these cocoa baskets from the Dollar Tree a couple weeks ago. Our Dollar Tree had them, and I bought the last six or seven of them that they had. And if they have more, I will buy more, because I think I could do a lot of cool things with these cocoa baskets, including plant some flowers in the spring. But I can do some fun crafts. So what I started to do is I took these plastic eggs. Let me see if I can find some real quick here. Oh, they're just the plastic eggs that you get, that you fill with candy, okay? And I'm probably not going to find them at the moment because I have just so much going on here. But they're just those plastic eggs that come apart and then you fill them with candy. They're in different colors, all right? So I decided to paint these with chalk paint, and I'm, I'm still going to do another coat, I think, but I did one that's a little bit of a brown egg, and I did one a little beige, okay? So what I'm going to do further, and I have to tell you what I'm about to do to some of these eggs. This goes out to a dear old friend who used to be my friend when I was a little girl, and she was an elderly lady. Her name was Mrs. Rupp. She had many, many grandchildren, so I know that there's probably some of you out there. I'm hoping that um, you'll find this video if, if you are. She grew up on my street in Livonia when I was a child, and I used to go down the street and visit her. This sweet lady, she used to take eggs, and she would hand blow them. She'd blow the yolk out by just having little holes, and she showed me how to do this. And then she'd cut openings, and I'm talking real eggs cut openings in the front and she would decorate around the whole egg. She would cover it like in laces in pretty velvets and laces. And then the front would be open and she'd have some kind of a little scene or little tiny flowers inside. And she had these throughout her whole home. It was her hobby. It was her thing. And her whole house was just full of these eggs. Beautiful pinks and purples and laces and velvets and you can't even imagine how this house looked, okay? I ended up taking some of my friends down to her house sometimes. I would visit her about every week, and she was ready with for me. She always had a little candy bar or something, and then we would work on eggs, or she'd show me her latest eggs. She was the sweetest lady, and I'll never forget her. And, um, I, you know, when she... When I had to grow up and move away, I really thought about her so often, as I still do. So, Mrs. Rupp, decorating these eggs, it's not going to look like the ones you did, because you were fa fantastic. But I'm going to decorate some of these just, just in memory of you, okay? All right. So, anyway, I thought what I might do with these plastic eggs, maybe, you know, to cover that line in the center, I might just, 
you know, do little things like this, lace around there. Okay, so it's hard to just show you, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one today. Ah, look at these little daisies that I got on that um, string. And this would be cute. I could even put the little leaf petals in it. Look, look how cute, okay? I could put it on top like this. I could put some silk flowers. I could put a rose on top. How pretty would that be? I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some of these and show you, okay? I even have these little cloth carrots. Look how cute. Just simple, okay? I could do that with the lace. I mean, there's just the possibilities are endless with these little eggs, and they could just be, I want my nest to be beautiful. I want the eggs inside of this nest to be just decorative and beautiful. And I want to keep it out year-round so I can remember my old friend. Okay, so all I did, and I'm not done with this. I'm going to glue it, you know, a little bit better. But I like the way that this tips forward because a real nest doesn't just sit like this. A real nest would tip. A real nest would be just more natural looking. I, I love the way I ha it tips, okay? So I did one egg. It's one of these, and I covered it in the green moss. I like it. In fact, I like it with this flower on the front. I think it's very cute. Okay, so I may do a basket with these in them. I don't know. I bought more of these. I have probably 12 or more of these little plastic eggs, and I may even buy more because I'm having so much fun doing different things with them. Okay, so I'm going to put the basket back here on my table. Okay, and... Here I go. I'm going to get started. Oh, messy again. All right, I'm going to brush it on the floor, and then I'm going to sleep. But I'm going to have it all over my socks. I know I am. So, okay. So what I'm going to do first, I am first going to take one of these little eggs, and I'm going to make it really cute with this daisy. I don't know if you can see it real good. I'm turning my glue gun on, okay? Um, and then I'm going to work on some decoupage on this bunny, all right? When it's done, it's going to be so pretty. I can't wait. I love the decoupage. That's one of my favorite crafts to do, actually. I just love the way things turn out and how they look um, when you're finished. It looks like it's a hand-painted item, and I just love that. And since I'm not, I'm not an uh, artist in that way, I don't paint, it's going to be... Um, it's a way for me to make something look like a painting, like I did a painting, but it's really very simple, and anyone can do it, okay? All you need is Mod Podge, and I'm going to open this up here and get it ready, and, and you need napkins. And I will tell you, when you're at the store, any store, any craft store, any... Any kind of store, if you see Easter or spring napkins or any kind of napkins that you love, the design on it, get them because this is what I use. I use that. I use wrapping paper that I like. I use um, so many different items, um, you know, like tissue paper, fabrics, different things that you can use to decoupage with. I have tons of napkins. I have baskets full of napkins because when I see them, especially at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, I grab them because they just, they're so inexpensive and they just are so beautiful. So I'm going to show you some of my napkins. Let me get this lid back on the Mod Podge. Maybe it's not worth it. Okay. So I even got that little bottle of Mod Podge at the Dollar Tree. Let me get a plate here and I'm going to pour some of this Mod Podge in the plate so we'll be ready to go okay you're going to use quite a bit and i'm going to show you i bought i ordered these little napkins online it's peter rabbit and it's, it was one of my favorite stories when i was a kid so i bought it it even has a verse out of the book now run along and don't get into mischief that's what peter rabbit's mother said to him before he went out and ate all those veggies in the garden okay and got into trouble so i have that these I love, and I've already been using these napkins. I absolutely love the bunny on this. I think it's adorable, and it's just so whimsical, which is the look that I love. For spring, I found these napkins. 
which I think are so pretty. And I ordered these online too, I think. So I'll be decoupaging some things or, you know, putting these in frames. I don't know yet what I'm going to do. I found gorgeous spring pretty napkins. I love these. I'll probably put some of those on the bunny. I found stripe, pastel stripes, which is good for any time of year, but I think will be gorgeous on the bunny. I showed you that. So I'm going to stack them up here. I found these beautiful. These were at the Dollar Tree with birds and flowers. I think that's very pretty. This, I don't know where I picked these up, but these have polka dot, yellow polka dots, yellow zigzags, um, probably some other kind in there too. Uh, more of those. I'm just showing you the ones that I got for like springtime to use for springtime. I thought these were pretty too, stripes. And I thought these were pretty because they kind of look like Easter eggs, but they're not. But I think it will give that kind of look. I bought these pretty ones that actually have a shiny little something in the center of, the, of these leaves. Okay, I've used those already. I used that on a Valentine project. What else do I have here for spring? Oh, these. I love these. This just reminds me of the 70s and the 80s, like... Holly Hobby. Do any of you remember Holly Hobby? My daughter, my oldest daughter, Lisa, her bedroom was decorated in Holly Hobby. And it just reminds me of this little patchwork, floral, um, kind of ditzy, shabby, chic little design. It's so pretty for spring. And I think, oh, I got so many more. I got these that are shaped a little differently. It's the same print as the other. See that? And, oh, here's a Hello Spring. That's really nice because it has words on it, too. Um, anything that has pictures or words or colors that you like will be great. And I bought some other kinds of napkins, but these would be probably used for summer more. Okay, because I want to stick to the pinks and the greens and the nice spring Easter colors. I also found at Michael's, they have these little, you know, was it Michael's? No. Um, yeah, I think it was Michael's, and it was in the clearance aisle. They have a great clearance aisle at Michael's. I got these beautiful little fabric swatches. Look at that bunny, how pretty. Okay, and this has birds. Look at, these are great for decoupage, okay? I probably have wrapping paper, too, that I picked up, and I, I just pick it up when I see it. Look at that. A paisley design that's cute because it's got the orange in it too that'll match the carrots i'm definitely going to use that on the bunny and that's this looks cute and i think it looks cute with all these it looks cute with this look at how cute okay those are beautiful okay so now my glue gun is heated up i'm going to do a quick i'm going to show you how cute we can make these little eggs okay i'm going to do one with a daisy and all I'm going to do is glue it on. That's it. That's all there is to it. You glue it on the egg. I'm going to glue it near the top. Okay, and then I'm going to glue the petals. I'm going to glue the petals right on it. Okay, and the petals, I think I'll glue coming down a little bit. So let me put a little glue on the end. I'm just putting glue on the end of the petal because I want... I want the pointed end to kind of stand out a little bit. I don't want it to be plastered onto the egg. I want it to just kind of look like it's growing on the egg, okay? And then this one, let's see, maybe like that. No, I think I'll come down with that one too. I like that look. Oh, this one already has glue on it, so perfect. And then I got to cut that little string off because there. So look how cute already. Look how cute that little egg is, okay? I think I might put a bow on the top. Let's see what I can do with the bow. Oh, what bow. I always go to those polka dots for the spring. I love the polka dots. But let's see, we have yellow, green. Oh, I've got so many pretty ribbons. I may go with, I need something that'll look cute with the yellow. So, or the white. White would be cute, too. Let's see what I have over here. Okay, I have, oh, I could use twine, burlap. Oh, I could even use. Oh, I love this. I love it. Absolutely love this. Okay. I am going to use 
buffalo plaid because I think that's adorable. And I'm just going to take it and I'm going to do loops, okay? I'm going to do loops, small loops, because we don't want it to be overpower the egg, all right? So two loops, squeeze it together. Do another loop. Oh, I probably should have done more. Let me get a little, another little piece to add to this. Okay. Cut that off there. So I'm going to put this here and do another loop here. And then I'm going to squeeze it together. I kind of want the little tail there. Not too big, though. I want the little tail to poke out. Now I'm going to get a piece of twine to tie it together. Oh, twine, where are you? Okay. So I know I opened a bag. Here, I opened a bag of twine. Oh, look at the green twine. The green looks as cute with the daisy. So I'm going to open the green twine. Or the white twine. I like the green. And that's what I'm going to use. Also from the Dollar Tree. Oh, okay, I'm sorry guys. I know I look a mess today. But I wanted to come on and do this. Because... You know, if I wait, I'll run out of time later. I have other things I have to do, and I've just been busy. Um, okay, where's the end? I don't see the end, so I'm going to make an end, and it'll pop up eventually. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to just tie. And I like to have the strings hanging down a little bit, so I'm going to tie it together. Okay, pull it through so it's kind of even. I'm going to, when I do this, it's nice to kind of scrunch the bow in the center and pull it forward. Pull, I don't know how to explain that to you, but you've got this in the center, which you're going to tie very tight, okay? But pull the bow forward like that when you're doing it, okay? Because that's going to make it, it just makes it work better, okay? So I'm going to tie this very tight. This green twine reminds me of grass, and I think that's what's going to be cute about this. Okay, and I'm going to tie it in a tight knot. Got to do it tight, because when you start fluffing the bow out, you don't want it to fall apart. All right, here we go. So, this little bow, gonna, oh, I love this. I love it. Absolutely going to love this. And I'm going to make loops with it, the rest of it, too. I'm going to do, actually just tie a cute bow, shoelace bow with it. Okay, and make sure those come up to have the green showing. Okay, and now pull that towards the top. Now I'm going to glue it on, okay? And it's going to be so cute. I'm going to glue it, see, it's got to go like kind of right behind the flower almost toward the back so here we go I'm gonna go right here right in the center where the flower is okay not finished so let me turn my gun off and save on the battery okay okay so now I'm gonna start fluffing this bow out a bit Make sure it's stuck on there real good. I think I might have to put it. There we go. Maybe it's just not in the right spot. There we go. Fluff this out a bit. Yeah, and these are maybe a little too long. I like them longer. It just gives it some personality. I love to give things personality. This comes up. This comes up. I don't know if I like the tail on the plaid bow so much. So I think I'm going to cut that down even more. So it's not right the thing you first see, okay? And let's see. Is that glued on good? I don't know. It is. I'm going to put a little extra glue. It's hard because it's right at the tip. Oh, there we go. That will help. And I'm not going to touch that glue. I'm going to take my stick and, you know, kind of push down with, with the stick, okay? I love this. I just think it's adorable, and it's so simple and so inexpensive, and it will be so cute somewhere on, in my basket. I may do a basket with this, these 
in it and I might do a basket with just plain ones that I can keep out year round. I don't know. I, I love the basket with egg look. I think it's just very natural for your decor and it's very cool looking. So I love it. Anything that makes your house look welcoming and to me anything spring is welcoming because we certainly will welcome spring this year in Michigan because right now we're here. We've had a mild winter for Michigan, but right now it's like we're having our whole winter in the month of February here. Okay. So what do you think? What do you think of this, guys? Cute? I think it's really, really cute. It's very simple. You could go further with it if you want. I love it just like this. And I'm going to try putting silk flowers on the top of some of these eggs. And look, I've got these little stands that I use to paint the eggs in. I might paint... Oh, this is cute. I might paint these little stands. A white or black. Maybe black. And I can display... You know, I've got four of these cups. I can display four eggs somewhere. In my kitchen, maybe. That would be so cute. Look at that. I love it. So, oh, send me a little comment and let me know what you think of it, okay? I just think it's so pretty. So, very simple. Very inexpensive. I think it's a great project for spring. This would be cute as for a gift. Like if you have a mom or a daughter or somebody that would like this in their home. I, I think it's a very cute gift. Okay? So there we go. I'm going to, for now, put these back in my basket. Oh, it's cute in the basket. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. All right, now I'm going to decoupage. I'm going to start the decoupage on this big bunny. First of all, I have to try to glue this together, and it's not going to be an easy task. But I think I can do it, okay? So make sure, before I put the glue on... I'm going to have to line it up real well, which that's what's hard about it. Maybe if I do one side at a time would probably be best. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue around the side of this. And it can be messy because it's going to be covered up when you do the decoupage. So don't worry about, you know, the glue going off the side or whatever. It's not going to show. It might create a little bump, but it's not going to show. All right, so I'm going to start by doing this side. Oh, go together, please. Go together quickly before the glue dries. Okay, that's good. It worked. Okay, and um, so I've got one side gluing a little bit there. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to cover it. Just get it on there as best you can. Line it up as best you can. Okay, and uh, this is probably the hardest part about this whole project. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to try to put some glue on the other side. And this is not going to be easy. Okay, so if I had something to hold there, if I hold it open here a little bit, I can probably do the bottom, okay? I could do this part. Oh, I need another glue glue stick. I'm going to get that part on. Yeah, this is going to be the key, is doing like a section at a time, just to make sure it's lined up, okay? Let me get another glue stick here. Oops. Uh, right here are my glue sticks. Okay, I'm back. Now, so I've got that side lined up on the bottom. Oh, come on, now i got to make sure that sticks. I might have to put a little more glue on here. And we can scrape some of this off if we want to before we decoupage. It's The main part is just getting the glue on here so that it will stick. Okay, this is the most important part. And push that together a little more. Okay, so it's working. It's working. Okay. Not perfect, but that's okay. We're not going to see it. We're just not going to see all of that. Okay. And if we have to, we can line the sides with some kind of a trim when we're done. You know that? You know how I am. I like to finish it off. Okay, come on, baby. Get in there. All right. I like to finish it off and make it look finished. 
cover up those seams in the end. It's easier to take care of it later than it is now because this glue just dries fast once it cools down. Okay. It's coming along. I'm going to put some glue on the ear. Okay. Get some in there. All right. There might be an easier way to do this, and if you find an easier way, please let me know. <laughs> but for now, this is the way I'm going to do it. It was working, and that's good. Get it's just there. Oh. I don't know if it's going to stay together. Okay, up here. It's going to be a little bit of a messy glue job until it sticks well. But it's working. It is sticking. So, okay. It's getting there. I've got to just hold it together for a minute. I'm being impatient is what the problem is. If I would just sit still, hold it together, make sure that it's even as much as possible. Oops, the ear's got to be held together. I get more glue on my hands than I do the project usually. Okay, put some glue here. Okay, I am making a mess. You have to understand I am a messy crafter. Oh, especially when I paint. Oh my gosh, you should see like if I'm painting a room. Oh my gosh, such a mess. Not the best at that. All right, I just have to make sure I get the glue in these cracks because I would not like to get this all done and then have it fall apart after we're all done with the decoupage. And I think the key is holding it together for a minute. Oops, that's the key, holding it together. The first side glued pretty easy, very easy, okay? So, let's see. I'm going to start with, what fabric should I start with? Should I do the fabric or the napkins? I love that fabric. I love that paisley fabric that has the orange in it. I think that's going to look really good because it's going to match my carrots. And this bunny could go in that tray with my big carrots. It would be very cute. And then I have to decide where I'm going to put that tray because I'm going to put it somewhere very prominent, maybe even near my front entrance. And so it's the first thing you see when you walk in my house. <laughs> I might do that. Okay, it's going together. Okay. So I think I've got it glued on good enough. It's a messy glue, but we'll take care of that later. We'll, we'll do something with that later, okay? So I have my Mod Podge. And what you're going to do with the Mod Podge is you're going to put... Well, first I should decide what I'm doing, okay? I want to start with this. I want this right center front because... I love it. And when you're um, decoupaging, you're either ripping or cutting pieces. Um, when I'm use, I'm going to use fabric for this money, I think. I think I'm going to use all my fabrics because I also have these crafting scissors that have different edges on them. And I think it would be very cute to, like, just take, oh, just go. I hope they cut good. They might only be good for paper. Okay. Well, I could always use my pinking shears that my mom gave me, too. I'm just cutting. I'm not doing anything fancy. Yeah, these aren't the best for fabric. Probably better for paper. They would probably work good with the napkins or the wrapping paper, but it's coming. It's coming along here. Okay. Maybe I'll get my pinking shears. Yeah, I think the pinking shears might be better. Where are my pinking shears that my mommy gave me? Okay. Nope. I'm sorry, guys. I'll be back. Oh, I think I found them. Here they are. Okay. I don't know if these work good, but I would almost bet money that they do. Oh, yeah, because they were my mom's. She takes care of stuff very much more than I do. So... 
I'm not surprised that they work perfect. They work better than any of my scissors. So pinking shears have that jagged edge on them. I don't know if you can see that. And it will just give it a little... It, not that it's really going to show, because once I start laying, layering fabrics, that edge may or may not show. I don't know what it's going to do. I'm just cutting a piece. It doesn't have to be any certain style or anything. And I'm going to start right in the center with this, because I love this fabric. Okay, So I'm going to take my Mod Podge, and I'm not going to do a thick coat. I'm just going to put a thin coat of Mod Podge where I want to put my first piece of fabric. Okay. And then I'm going to take my fabric and I'm going to lay it right on the Mod Podge. And I'm going to push on it and kind of spread it out. I'm sorry, I'm probably not showing you what I'm doing here. And you're going to spread it out and try to get some of those wrinkles out, okay? As much as you can. You know, you're not going to get it perfect, and that's okay. It's decoupage. It's, it's all right. See where the little creases in the bunny are that show the actual like the different the noses and the stomach and all of that. Probably could go around that and show that crease, right? Okay, so now I'm going to take a piece of, I think I'm going to go with this. I love this fabric too. This fabric. And I'm going to do another piece on the bunny. I'm going to put this bunny here so you can see what I'm doing. Oops, he's a roly-poly little bunny. Okay, you don't need to see me so much, so I'll show you my bunny. Oh, he's got glue all over because I'm a messy glue gluer. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut out a piece. You know, in with, fab, with the napkins and the um, paper, I would be ripping this. I, I wouldn't be cutting. So I'm just doing this, and you don't have to be picky, like I said, because... It's going to be different shapes, different whatever. You're going to layer them. So I'm going to go to my next area. I'm going to put some of this green over here. Maybe cover the paw a little bit. See that? And I'm going to lay that green like here. I love the green next to this fabric. And I might have to do a little more Mod Podge here. Okay, because I don't think I put enough Mod Podge in this area. Whoops, I gotta put some down here. See, and this is all you have to do is just keep putting more on till you can get the fabric on there good. Mod Podge is really like a glue. And I've heard that some people just use like Elmer's glue to do this and it works fine. Um, Mod Podge is made for it. So put a little glue here so I can lay this down. If you don't want to get Mod Podge all over your hands, you can use a stick or something. The crafting sticks work good. I'm going to put some here because that's going to go up the neck a little bit. Okay. I'm going to go up the neck in the crease. You want to get those creases. I'm actually going to use the stick for the creases. I may have to put more, more glue there like under there, right in the crease of the neck needs glue. Okay, so, and you don't have to plan out where you're putting the fabric. It's going to turn out cute no matter what, okay? It doesn't matter. It's going to be cute no matter what. So here we go. I'm doing that. There, now I'm in the crease of the neck and going around and making sure that it sticks. If it doesn't stick entirely, you're going to be putting a coat on top later, and that will also help it stick, okay? See, and if you need to, you can do this, because you're going to end up putting a coat on there anyway. See that? You can do that. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I have a tendency to go off into my own little world, and then, okay. So, okay, and it's going to look a little cloudy until it dries. I put some over it okay now I'm going to take uh, let's see I may as well just do all four of these fabrics because they're so cute uh, maybe not whoops I don't know let's see oh they're just so cute together and I love this bunny yeah why not 
right. and I can mix, you can mix fabric with the napkins too. It doesn't have to be just fabric. You can mix it, you can mix wrapping paper, you can do whatever you want. The possibilities are endless, okay? I just happen to love this bunny. This little fabric. Okay. And I'm going to cut a cute little bunny out. So. Alright. See, these are just nice little swatches that, um, that you pick up. You don't have to buy a whole bunch of fabric that you're not going to use. It's just enough to do a project. And it's less expensive than buying a yard of fabric or whatever. It's just very cute. And I mean, this one's just going to be, I'm going to get little pieces of faces in here. And maybe one whole face. Or let's see. It's cuter when it's a regular. It's not really cute, but I think this is going to go right here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put that piece. Sometimes it's easier to work with smaller pieces. I'm going to cut that. Oh, I'm going to cut this because it's a little bit big. It's easier to maneuver smaller pieces. So, and it just depends what kind of look you want. I'm going to glue this down a little better here. Okay, there we go. That was sticking up. So I got to get some glue under that and on top of that. And see how I'm just kind of going over it, too, in the corners? You want to make sure, and you actually can use your brush to go around the creases, too. If you want to define the, the feet and the features of this bunny, you, you know, that's a good way to do it. Okay, so I'm going to place, I think I'm going to place this right here. Oh, I wish I'd have put that near the front, but I still can. I can put it right there in the front. So what I'm doing, oh, how would that look? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll keep going the way I am. Um, you don't really have to plan it out. I mean, actually, if you don't plan it, it turns out better, I think, because you're just throwing it on. And turn the fabrics at different angles, okay? Turn it at different angles. You don't want it to all be... The right way. Okay, I'm gonna need some more Mod Podge here. I might Mod Podge some lace too on this. I think that might look kind of pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go up the neck, up the face a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go over some of this other fabric. Okay, so there we go. So right in the crease of the neck first. And then I can go get the wrinkles out, right? Okay. I love this. I just love it. I'm gonna do it right onto the other fabric. Like I said, it's okay to get this Mod Podge on the top because we're gonna put a top layer of Mod Podge all over this anyway. So it doesn't matter. There's going to be a coat right on top of it all. So don't worry about making a mess with Mod Podge because it's going to work out just fine. And the cloudiness will go away once it dries it to a degree. And the cloudiness will, it will be more clear, more like the original fabric. Okay. So there we go. Got the little bunny on there. And then I'm going to define, see, with this bunny, there's so many little definitions in the, the, the mold. So I'm going to define it a little bit, make sure we have the outline of his paws and his tummy, because I think that makes it cute, okay? All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to get the neck real good, okay, and the, there. This part's giving me a hard time right here. Okay, but that doesn't matter because we're gonna we're gonna take care of that later. Just push it on there, pull the wrinkles out as best you can. Okay. Oh, 
it's just going to be adorable. It's really coming along here. And see how that edge of what those scissors is kind of showing up? Okay. This might not look like much right now, but trust me, it's going to be so cute. Okay, where's my bird fabric? I might as well put a little bit of bird fabric here in the front, too, so I can show all four of my fabrics. Okay. And I, when I picked these fabrics out, I looked at the colors and matched them up. They're different designs, but I, I used common colors in the designs just to kind of make it go together. And that gives it a unique look and an artsy look, too. I wished I'd have bought more of these big bunnies because I could be giving these as gifts. These are very unique. I could have done many things to it. I even thought about just covering it with burlap or moss or something. But I wanted to do something different with these bunnies because they're just cute. So I'm going to cut this because I don't want to use that whole big piece right now. I think I'm going to just put this down here. Or, whew, you know what? It's easier laying down. <laughs> That's going to go right there in the front too. Okay, so I'm going to cover the areas. I'm covering up some of the other fabric and that's okay because it's supposed to be look like a collage. I mean that's the way it is supposed to look. Okay, okay. So just like this. Okay, I don't know if you can see very well what I'm doing but I'm going over one of the paws. I'm defining that paw so that you still see that it's a paw. Push in around that, just to define the lines of the bunny. Keep it looking like a bunny. Okay, and then I'm gonna put some more Mod Podge on, so I can get that down there. Smooth it out. Get those wrinkles out. This has got a wrinkle here that I'm gonna pull. When you're using paper, it's not as easy to get the wrinkles out because the paper rips when it's wet like this. So sometimes when you're doing using paper, you don't wanna worry as much about the wrinkles or, or you have to take care of them before you glue it down if you can. Um, I know that sounds silly, but it's you have to, okay? Um, somehow and we'll, we'll work with paper too I've done it many times and I'll show you how that works okay so look so far so far we've got four of the fabrics on here right I'm gonna try to cover the head a little bit and I'm gonna take this bird fabric again only because I have a piece right here okay and I'm gonna put that up here somewhere. Start covering the head and the eyes. Alright, so that bird is going to go right here. The nice thing is you don't have to iron the fabric because this takes the wrinkles right out. <laughs> it takes the creases of the fabric right out. Oh, I'm loving this already and it's really got a long way to go but I'm loving it this is a project your kids could do this is a project you could do with your kids if you're a teacher it's a great project inexpensive when you use the napkins and the um, especially the I would say like the Dollar Tree wrapping paper oh my gosh It'd be a cheap classroom project and you can get smaller little things to decoupage you can even use these little you know, these little bunnies that I, I put the moss on. You could just decoupage those. How cute. And put a ribbon on it, and it could be like a little hanging ornament. Something. Cute classroom project. Because you can get those little bunnies, bag of six or more. And, and you can get them, you know, if you can't get them at the Dollar Tree, there's other places you can look online. There's, there's that AliExpress, Alibaba Express or whatever. I see that they have a lot of things on there for cheap that you can get. Um, if you, one of them you have to buy bulk. The other one, 
you can um, just buy whatever you need. So I'm covering the little nose. I'm defining the whiskers. Okay, and who knows what we'll do with those whiskers later. I might put some string whiskers on later. I mean, when we're done with this, we're not done after we decoupage. I can tell you that much. We will not be done. I'm going to want to do some things to it. Look at, see? Now I have another one of these. I'm going to put this bunny on here. On this side. This bunny here. Cute. So like I said, you got to move it around a bit sometimes, like this it has to go in the crease and you have to pull it so that you don't have that wrinkle as much as possible. I pull it up now, okay? See the whiskers are there, but that's okay. I wanted to find those whiskers because then I can see where to place them when I do something later to it. Sometimes it's better just to use your hands, okay? If you got corners that are still sticking up, you just lift them and put a little bit more Mod Podge down. Okay, there you go. Oh, it's really looking cute. Coming along very nicely. This is going to be a very nice project. See? It's not looking like much right now, but trust me, guys, it is going to be just adorable. Put a little more of the green in the front. I'll just do a green strip right there, maybe. Okay, and I don't want to cover too much fabric, so I'm going to do like a something like that, maybe. Oh, so cute. It's going to be so cute. I'm going to just kind of make it a little smaller so that I'm not covering up all the fabric. And then I'm just going to cut this jagged edge here with the pinking shears that Mom gave me that I'm using so much. Oh, that's perfect. Right down the front here. Okay. So I've got to put a little more here and here. I'm going to have to put more of that paisley on because now I'm not seeing it as much, but okay. I do love the way this is coming out. That's going to cover the nose. It's going to have a polka dot nose. And again, you want to define that nose. Okay, so I'm going to put some more Mod Podge here. I'm going to go up the ear. I'm sorry guys, I should be showing you as I do this. It's very hard to do though, because I want to make sure I'm getting the placement right here. A piece of messy glue. Okay, I'm going to put some more Mod Podge. These little bottles don't last long. I have a great big one somewhere, but I thought I'd use up these little ones first. And then I can pull out the big bottle. Because I'll be using it because I love to do the Mod Podge, like I said. Okay, so pull those little wrinkles out. Let's define the nose a bit. Okay, let's go around that nose before. Where's the rest of that nose? I, couldn't, I can't remember the shape of it now. Oh, it's down here. Okay, it's a longer nose. Oh, it's like a triangle going up. Okay. Yeah, I might use my, my fingernails and make a mess. Why not? Okay. Okay, it'll define it a little bit. So, like I said, we'll go over this later too when we need to, but this is going to have to come up and be pulled down a little more. There. In order to get the wrinkles out, I had to do that. Okay, put it against the neck, pull it around the corners. Okay, 
So see, it's cloudy. You're going to see the difference when it dries. Okay, I need to put another piece of this fabric because, oh, see, it's getting heavy in the front. I'll lay it down because I kind of covered up most of, the, most of it. So I'm going to put a, um, maybe like a different kind of a small shape here. Okay, and I think I'll just put that right, right here going this way this time. Oh, yeah, going this way, maybe. I like that. Or this way. Oh, that's better. Okay, so here we go. I might even have enough Mod Podge on here. Yeah, I do. In some spots. Already on here since I did that top coat. But if not, I just have to put a little more underneath. Make sure it gets on there real good. Get in that crease. Get underneath the corners of the fabric so you can make sure it's on there good because you want it to look like it's painted on later. You don't want it to look like you glued fabric on here. You want it to look painted and it will. It will if you do it right. There's a piece that needs to be pulled over here. Okay. It is nicer working with the fabric I have to tell you um, because you're not ripping it. it so it, it is a little easier to work with because you can put as much of the stuff on and not worry so much about it ripping, which sometimes you do worry about that. You guys, I just love Mod Podge. Okay. I know I say that a lot, but you see how it's coming along? So I'm going to leave you right now, guys. This has been a pretty long video. I will say that I wanted to show you these eggs, too, that I found at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I have so much stuff. Um, I only found three of them, so I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but these would be great for just a spot of color. Maybe I'll hang them from my Easter tree. We'll see. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. So anyway, happy crafting. I hope to see you again. I hope you're following my videos. I hope you go to my website. You can find that on Facebook too, my website address. I have uh, things on there, some writings about my life and some videos that of crafts that I've done. You can find a lot on there. I have a YouTube channel. That's all on my website. You can find the links to those um, social media links. And um, I hope to see you again soon. Okay. Have fun, guys. Bye.